Hi, I'm Dom from Salida. Wikis in Notion are an oft forgotten tool and a great way to start using Notion. They don't require much setup and at the most basic, all you're really doing is dumping information into them. No fancy formulas or integrations necessary. Although you can add those once you get a bit more advanced. Today, I'm going to go through some best practice for a quick and efficient wiki setup in Notion. First though, why use a wiki instead of just a regular database? Well, there are two key benefits. One is that a wiki's homepage can be laid out just like a regular page, meaning you can create something more visually appealing and intentional rather than simply a database view. Uh, take this Notion created template for a wiki, uh, and you can see just how much you can structure it. In fact, apart from this bar at the top, you would think that you were looking at just a regular page. However, unlike a regular page, a wiki has the ability to cycle through different database style views, allowing you to filter, sort, group, and create different views. So here we have a view, just the table view for all the pages in the wiki. And here we have a view for all the pages that I own. Obviously you can add any additional views that you like while still retaining this page style homepage. The next benefit is the fact that you can search a wiki and its content as opposed to a regular database where you can only surface the names and not the content unless you use the universal search. So if we go to the top right here and click search, and let's say we just search for the word notion, you can see that it is actually reading the pages in the wiki to find the word notion. It's not just looking at the titles. But with a wiki, you can actually do both. So if I go to a database view and search, and I type notion, you'll see nothing comes up because it's only surfacing titles. So then if I just search recent, you can see that the search function is working. It's just focusing on the page title. And both of these are not even mentioning what is probably the biggest benefit of conducting all of your knowledge management within Notion, which is that you can make use of the incredible Notion Q&A. Uh, I have a video on that. Um, it's a whole separate thing, but I'll link to that video down below. Okay, so now let's set up a quick wiki where I will highlight a couple of important aspects of the setup you should look out for. The first thing we need to do is create a new page and give it a name. And to turn any page into a wiki, all you do is go to the top right here and click turn into wiki. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. However, there's a couple of things we actually want to do before we turn a page into a wiki. You see, there are a few quirks of converting a page into a wiki that mean that you just need a small amount of setup first. So let's delete this wiki and create a new page and call it new wiki. So one thing we're going to want to do is create a page within this page and call it wiki template and then convert this into a wiki. And that is because once you create a wiki, you cannot turn any of the pages within that wiki into a wiki, and you cannot migrate wikis into a wiki once you've created it. This used to be the case with databases as well, but that seems to have been fixed. To test this out though, let's turn this into a wiki. and create a new page. And if we go to the top right here, you'll see that there is no option to turn this into a wiki. So let's try an alternative and create a page outside of our wiki. Turn this one into a wiki and see if we can drag it in. As you can see, it doesn't let us. And just to show that you can now move a database into a wiki, 
let's do the same thing. So we've created a database outside of our wiki. It's a full page database. And then we can just drag it in and you can see that we now have a wiki template and a database template in our new wiki. So let's get into the wiki itself. Now let's go to the database view where we can see that we've got four properties besides the page name property. So we have a people property and that isn't quite the same as the created by property, which is always held in the metadata for any new item in a database that's created. Uh, this can be reassigned. So you can automatically set the owner to whoever created the page, but then you can change ownership as ownership of the document changes hands over time. Next to that, we have the verification property, which is unique to wikis. You can set a length of time that your verification will last for, at the end of which you will receive a notification prompting the owner to review the documentation. And this is a feature I would highly recommend you make use of to make sure that any documents within your wiki remain updated at a reasonable time scale. So let's go ahead and set some verification for our two database items. And something this works really well with is the pages I own view. Uh, so this is just a view that's filtered on your own ownership. So if you own pages within a wiki, you can go to this view and you can just check that all of your documents are verified. And it's just a good way to keep them up to date. Next to this, we have a tags property. What I actually like to do here is create an additional tags property and try and keep one of those tags to a minimum in terms of the number of select options there are in it. So if you're a business, you could have one tag set to be your main functional areas. So for example, sales, project team, Let's write these out as I go. Project team, let's say you have operations, finance, legal. And I would turn this into a single select instead of a multi-select. And I would use this first tags property to create team specific views within the wiki, either team specific database views or to have a different inline database view on the wiki homepage. Uh, and this just means that if you lock this view, this just means that if you don't add too much to this first tag, you can use that tag uh, as part of your design for the wiki without it kind of getting out of hand and having a tag for the Christmas party, one for office key cards, and then another one for Q3 financials. It can get really messy uh, and there's no need because you can use the wiki search to find everything you need anyway. So I would then use this secondary tag for a kind of document type. So updates, financials and things like that. Uh, and then this one can be specific to different teams. It can get as messy as you like. I wouldn't use this second tag uh, as part of the kind of design setup of the wiki. Speaking of layout, let's move on to our final point, the wiki home. So a really good example of, uh, of a wiki home setup is the wiki template that Notion provides. Uh, and it's the one I showed at the beginning of the video. I think this is a really good starting point. So you don't have to fuss about exactly how it's going to look and what you're going to include there. Um, if you just want to get started with wikis, this is a really good place to get going. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the two tag system um, to have additional views here. So this is just an inline view of the wiki. Uh, you can see if I go to here to source, this is sourced from the wiki itself. So you can have as many different specific views as you like. 
Um, the idea of having a company update gallery view at the top is really good. I would then probably add an additional view at the bottom uh, for different functional areas. So going back to our wiki, in the home here, you would just add a table view, use new wiki as the source, and then you would filter on function, and then you would have a different view for each team, just like that. Um, and obviously you can decide which view type you have um, for a home page, probably a bit like the Notion wiki. Um, gallery views work quite well. Um, and then another thing that they do is they have imported documents along the left here. And you can also include imported documents along the top if that's easier. You could also use a toggle to keep them hidden like this, if that's neater for you. But really, I think the, the two key things to keep in mind are to create a wiki within your wiki to start with and to make sure that you make good use of tags and multiple tag properties so that you can keep your wiki neat while allowing it to remain flexible. Uh, and that's how you set up a wiki really quickly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching.